Hello everyone, Rokefox here, and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. Today, I'll be showing you how to create a trap chest hidden door for your storage room. Last week, we took a look at a bunch of different hidden inputs that we could use for our hidden builds. Now, today, we're going to look at one more, and that's going to be using the trap chest. And if I were to make another hidden input video, this one would definitely be on it. This one is so easy to make, and it's pretty fun to work with. I've never personally used the trap chest before, so I thought it'd be fun to work this into a redstone build. So without further ado, let's jump into the tutorial. For design number one, the door is actually right in front of us. So how this one works, we open up our chest, the wall retracts, and then this opens up this hole down below where we can place a hidden chest, or if we made this a hidden entrance, we can come on down. Once we're down here, press the button, this closes right back up. When we're done, press it again, come back up, and then all we do is open this chest once again, like that, and then it seals right back up. Just so I'm not being repetitive throughout this whole video, all three builds are going to be built upon the same foundation. That's going to be our stack of double chests like this, with our trap chest down below like that, and then we're going to have a three block wall coming up, and of course make sure that our wall is closed up back here, so no one gets any suspicious ideas of anything being back here. Now for the redstone down below, if you watch the hidden input video, we hooked all these hidden inputs to a T flip flop. So that's what we'll be doing again today. So instead of building it, I think it'd be easier just to show you. Right below our trap chest, we have a piece of redstone dust, repeater running into a dropper that is facing out. So I will show you that real quick if you're not familiar with the T flip flop. So let's go ahead and break this. We want a dropper facing up, a dropper facing out, crouch place a dropper facing down, and then we want to run a hopper into the bottom dropper, and that's what it should look like, and then we want to throw one item inside. From there, if we come around to this side, we have a block with a comparator coming out of this top dropper to give us our redstone output. So like I said, this is the foundation of all three builds. Now let's go ahead and build this variation. For this one, the first thing we want to do is knock out these three blocks right here. And then where our comparator is, we want to run our comparator into a block. So come up one block like that. And then we want a block right here. We can knock this one out. And then we want to put one more block up like this. Now grab your redstone dust, put a piece of redstone dust right there. Get your redstone torch, place it right there. Put another block on top with another piece of redstone dust. And there we go. It should look like that. Now, what we need is three sticky pistons, so let me go ahead and knock this little wall out right here. Come down to our floor level, where this redstone torch is, go ahead and place your first sticky piston, so that will connect to our floor block, and then go ahead and put two more sticky pistons stacked right above it, like that. Now we want to fill this in with blocks, so go ahead, fill that in, and there we go, there is design number one complete. So if we open up our chest. That will give us our redstone output, that will open up. Now if you want to make this a door where you can actually go down, all you need to do is place a button on this block right here with our redstone dust. That way when we press it, that will close right back up, and then press it again it will open, and then you saw how it works. And there we go, that is design number one. For design number two, the door is actually in the floor. So this time when we open up our chest, this block will retract. And then we can reach in for our secret chest or drop down below into another secret room. And like the last design, we can press this button again just to close it right back up. Now, let me show you how to build this one. For this one, all we want to do is just knock out these blocks right here so we can get in here. Knock these two blocks out like that. And then grab a sticky piston, just one, and place it on this block right there. And then we'll have this little gap. Now we can go ahead and fill this back in. Now for the redstone, like I said, we're using the same circuit, so here we have our circuit again. What we want to do is run our comparator into a block like this, break this block out, and then put a piece of redstone dust down. And believe it or not, that is that build complete. So let's go ahead, let's open up our chest, that should, there we go, that opens it up. And then if we open it again, it'll close right back up. And there you have it. That is design number two. And for today's final design, 
our door is going to be in the wall once again, except this one we cannot go down, it'll just reveal a hidden chest. So what we do is come to our trap chest once again, open that up, that will drop down, revealing our hidden chest, and like the other two, we open this up again, and it'll close right back up. For this one, all we want to do is knock out these four blocks right here, get your chest, place it down in the back, you can put a stair or anything so this chest will open up or leave it empty if you'd like to and then all we do is knock this block out here on the floor get a temporary block and place it right there against our redstone circuit so it's there just like that get one sticky piston place the sticky piston facing up right there and go ahead and put a block on its face now we can go ahead and put this block back right there now for the redstone super easy just like the rest of these come around back here and then we want to run this comparator into a block like that and then just place one block right there we can go ahead and knock this one out now all we do is grab a redstone torch place a torch right there and then place one piece of redstone dust right there that'll cause our piston to extend now that's all finished let's go ahead and try it out that retracts revealing our chest that we can reach into and then like the other two designs we open the chest again to close it right back up. And there you have it, three trap chest hidden door designs for your storage room. This is the end of our tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. This has been Rogue Fox, and I'm out. See you later.